Normally in a game, that would be a big foul, not that it isn't here, but Hamilton not offering LMU much in this game. No, this and he's frustrated. Right? That's just a selfish move from an unselfish kid. He's frustrated, trying to do something, you know, create something out of nothing, and you saw right there, that's an easy play for Rob to step in. Hamilton out of control, and that's a foolish third foul. And he's really struggled. Only one field goal attempted and three fouls for Hamilton, a guy who played an awfully tough game, or good game, down at LMU last time these two played. Zachary down deep. And he's fouled by Godwin Okanji. Actually, they give it to Blackwell. That's his first. That's two fouls here on LMU this half. Fewer now two of three from the free throw line, eight points. Four rebounds. You know, I think Rob Sacre is going to be one of those players in Gonzaga history that you're really not going to know how good he's been until he's gone. He's gone. I agree. It's a lot like Corey Violet in that way. Just the physicality that he brings to this floor. Well, I think because he's so big and strong, he doesn't get credit for using it as much as he does. And I think Corey, to some, some degree, was underappreciated because so much of what he did looked easy. Ireland won't get the, the roll there. Ball tipped around, picked up by Bell. Three on one. Eddie, finish! It's out to 18. Dubois jump shot free throw line is good. Dubois, another player not doing much in this game, averaging over 11. And there's Sacre fouled from behind by Okanji. And Okanji just picked up his third personal foul. And we've got a timeout. Gonzaga's got it going in transition now. 16 point lead in Spokane. And tonight's in-game stats brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Casino. Can't make the game? Watch it with us. All televised Gonzaga games are at the Coeur d'Alene Casino. Look at those shooting numbers, Richard. Well, last three halves of basketball for GU. The second half for St. Mary's, GU shot 60%, 15 of 25. That's obviously carried over here for LMU, 50% in the first half. And a quick 80% here in the second half. GU clicking offensively. Kevin Pangos picking up here where he left off in well, the first Right half. away, look, over the top, simple play, makes the right read. Eddie can handle that pass over the top of the defense rather than a guy like Dower. And here in transition, we see him just, nobody picks up the ball. Ireland trailing, and we see right here a little brush screen from Rob gets Ireland off balance, and there's no help for LMU at the rim, and that's an easy two points. And a simple play, something that you don't notice the first time around, but uh, an excellent read from Pangos, and right now, you 10 fast break points LMU only two and really you kind of saw Ireland give up defensively on that play and he looked around frustrated hey yeah. where's my help right. guys he's really the one guy who's brought it tonight and competing now with 21 of LMU's 34 points not getting any help from anybody else Viney with eight points but he's only two of seven from the field and Sacre hits the front end yeah, Ireland, 21 points on 8 of 11 shooting, 3 of 4 from behind the arc. A couple of rebounds, no assists, averaging over 5 assists a game for LMU. Well, they've got a good one in Ireland. Fourth in points per game this year, third in assists, top five in steals, and second most minutes per game in league play. So uh, they got that point guard position locked up for the next two couple seasons, there's no doubt. Biting, turn around. And Drew Viney eventually has got to understand how good a player he could be. Well, he's going to continue to shoot it. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> it's about 11 times a game. Uh, you can knock it down from just about anywhere. That's why you don't want to give a guy like that easy looks, allow him to get into rhythm. And Pangos again wide open. He won't miss many of those. Here's Ireland behind the back, weaving his way down. Dubois for three. That's in and out. Slapped out of there. Grabbed by Pangos. And now a three on two. Pangos. Eddie, there's a charge. Nice play by Dubois to get position. Defense. 
16 point game. Gonzaga trying to get to their 20th win. They've never lost fewer than 20 in a few years. That shot is off, grabbed by Pango. And I don't think they've lost fewer or won fewer than 23. Harris with the rebound, stripped away on the return. And Dubois with it for LMU. This is Viney. To the baseline, spins on Eddie. Missed the shot, got it back, and finishes. But again, you see Drew Viney. If he brings that effort every play, he's a first-team all-league performer. There's Eddie at the other end. Yeah, I agree. I think Viney sometimes will coast throughout you know, portions of the game. And you see the last three times down the floor, he's two or three from the field, but much more assertive with those moves. He's got a lot more purpose to him. I think sometimes he likes to float around offensively, and he's not nearly as effective doing that for, for the Lions. Dubois, very aggressive player for LMU. That jump shot is off, and Harris with another rebound. Elias now with 11 points, 12 rebounds. Bell wide open corner. <laughs> LMU is not playing hard right now. In fact, they're walking down the floor. Final language is bad. Ireland finally looking around. Not a good look offensively from Dubois. Challenge jump shot, and we talked about in the first half, Greg. You force those bad shots up. That's as good as a turnover. GU gets out in transition right there. Great look ahead from Pangos to Bell. Bell knocks it down. GU running away with it. Here's tonight's Arby's trivia question. Which player leads the Zags in total minutes played this season? Harris, Pangos, Sacre, Bell, Jr. Text your answer to 27297 to win free food from Arby's. We'll have a, the answer for you a little bit later. 13-15 to play. All Gonzaga right now. 57-38 to score. This is an LMU team that's won six road games in league play. It's hard to tell. The way they've come out here, obviously struggling. And those struggles in the first half have continued here. Eddie with eight points for GU. LMU, eight on their own. Eddie right now tied with LMU here in the second half, and he has really provided a spark offensively now with 13 points on six and nine shooting. Ireland working on Bell. Bounce pass, here's Dubois. Baseline kick out to Ireland. 10 on the shot clock, lost the handle. Tipped by Harris, grabbed by Bell. Chase from behind, loose ball. Gary picked it up. Smart play from your freshman. Doesn't have a good handle. No easy play there in transition. Back it out. And Ireland's on the floor, turned an ankle. That shot is off, and we have the whistle. Let's hope he's all right. Having a tremendous game as Ireland. 21 points. He doesn't want to go out. Uh, looks like he's going to be able to walk it off. It was similar to the Stockton there in the first half, just stepping on a foot. Looks like it's that left ankle. Yeah, he's going to go out of the game now. Replaced by Bruce English, a freshman out of Laverne, California. Number one. And Bell out for GU as well. Mike Hart on the floor, along with Marquise Carter. Still working LMU. Blackwell driving. Dubois to Viney. And a foul called here on Elias Harris. He's not happy with the call. Looks like Viney's trying to save it from going out of bounds and go for it. And the official saw it. Thought he saw Elias pushing. Let's see here. Well, Viney unable to control it. Loose ball. I think the official thinks that you saw Elias. Elias' forearm on Viney's back and assumed there was a push. Blackwell's shot for three is off. Dower the rebound. Here's Pangos. Harris on the floor. Carter back to Dower. Big Sam with his parents in attendance. They say he traveled. 
Turnover. 11.45 to play. All Gonzaga right now in Spokane. Fifty-seven thirty-eight to score. Gonzaga trying to keep pace with St. Mary's. Time now to, to once again give away the 2012 Toyota Kennel Cruiser. Text Gozags to three five seven seven three. That's Gozags to three five seven seven three. Three fans will be invited to the February 23rd game versus BYU. One will drive home in the 2012 Toyota Camry Kennel Cruiser. Enter today. I hope a college kid wins that. You know? All I know is I could fit in it, so it's, you know. Exactly. We'd have to cut the front seat out for you. Either one of us could. We might have to it's cut like the fit. back seat out for you, put you in the trunk. <laughs> Still 11.43 to play. Dubois. A lot of dribbling. Mike Hart guarding Viney. Here's Blackwell, open three. That's long, and Hart the rebound. And now Gonzaga to push it. Right down the gut again, Pangos. Ran right into the defender, and they call the block. Bruce English took the brunt of that. And LMU has missed their last eight attempts from behind the arc, but they won't stop shooting. <laughs> no, three of 18 now for the ball game, less than 17%. Overall, only 33% from the field. Here's Pangos for three. He buries it, and I'm not being sarcastic by saying that about LMU. I mean, they're down by 22. They almost have to start shooting three. Yeah, absolutely. And hitting them. Now, when Kevin Pangos is shooting the ball, the rate he's shooting 12 of 18 now over the last five halves he's played, pardon me, six halves he's played, he has been on fire from behind the three-point line, just unconscious. There's a finish inside. Harris again right down the gut left hand. Not only is there no defense right now for LMU, there's no help defense. I mean, there's no first line of defense, there's no second line of defense. Go last line of defense. <laughs> Viney, that's a three ball. And that's good. The thing with LMU, despite the fact you're up 19, if you're GU, you can't relax. They have enough scores, particularly guys like Viney and Hamilton, that it, they can get going in a hurry. But they got to be able to crank it up defensively to come back from this far. There's Dower working to the rim. He'll shoot free throws. And I believe this could be on Okenji. That's five team fouls on LMU. It is on Okenji. That's his fourth. Sangos, nine assists. That's a career high tonight. 18 points, three rebounds, nine assists. And at half, no turnovers. <laughs> Kevin Pangos. How about that? Uh, Seriously, so we got to do a background check. <laughs> well, you, 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 knew he, you knew he was going to He's a freshman. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, was Blake Stepp this good as a freshman? Well, you know, I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pass just because I didn't play with him as a freshman, <laughs> but, but, but I, know, everything I've heard is he was all that and stuff. I mean, again, I asked the question, was Blake this good as a freshman? Now, remember, probably, Blake had didn't have to do as much. You know, it's tough, man. You're asking me to compare him to the guy I think is the best player that played here. I'm talking so, as a freshman. I'm not talking about career, right? I mean, he's Steph pretty close. Was the best player. Pretty close if he, sure. if he isn't there. Yeah, there's no doubt he's having a tremendous season. <laughs> Viney, turn around. He is in rhythm right now. You know when you work with me, Foxy, you're going to be on the limb. Wow. You know? Big limb there. Yeah. Uh, Especially in 20 point games. I mean, there's nowhere else other to be than on the limb. Harris, there's a tough basket there. Good strength and excellent patience. Viney coming up, flying over, trying to get the block. Elias just lets him fly by, able to hold off Hamilton and finish 